Yes, yes, yes. Look at the little bird in the morning, man. Look at him. This is what it looks like when the sun is coming up. Tell me you don't feel like getting up and making some things happen. Tell me you don't feel like doing what you need to do to continue seeing this view like I do. So I'm about to, about to get dressed, go over to the office and get to doing some drop servicing and some coaching because today is Wednesday. Drop servicing fiber gigs versus drop servicing high ticket services locally. Well, this is a comparison video, obviously, and in the case you're wondering, yes, I did record all these in the same day, which is why I'm wearing the same thing and all of them. But anyway, drop servicing gigs versus high ticket drop servicing. I mean, high ticket sounds way better to me. Can you do high ticket gigs on those Fiverr Upwork type sites? Keep watching. I'm going to show you why you should do, in my opinion, high ticket drop servicing. I'm going to show you my screen. Let's do this. Boom. All right. So we are here. Let's come over here to Fiverr. So the thing about Fiverr is the restrictions. <clears throat> and you're limited okay so a lot of these things are only digital services all right you can do something for somebody for five bucks and then they have a pricing cap as well you're only allowed to charge people a certain amount i don't think you can even get up over it might be something like five thousand dollars let's go to I think you could do like commercials or something for close to $5,000. But most of the time when you're doing something on here is one off. Um, if you take a person off of Fiverr, then you might be able to turn it into something recurring a monthly. But the same thing is over here with Upwork. <clears throat> it's set up for you to do pretty much one time jobs and everything because Upwork wants those people to come back and be able to go through a variety of different workers on here and they don't want you to take the customer off. This is why you don't receive the customer list or anything like that. You have to be real slick and sneaky. And a lot of the times, if you're sharing email addresses or numbers through their messaging platform and stuff, they get irritated or might want to try to ban you or something. So it's just issues with this stuff. You can use it and you can get customers and clients off of it, but that's the thing. That's the misconception that all you guys have and it's killing me. With drop servicing, you're not supposed to be getting clients. You're getting partners you're getting drop service and partners you're going to be owning the brand you're going to be building the brand and these partners these local businesses are going to be doing the fulfillment for you that's it and you're going to be splitting the commissions down the middle you're not getting them to pay you up front and because th think about it think about it when you get clients they have to say so they can call you whenever they want to they can complain about you they can go and leave reviews about you complaining and all of that but if you're just getting partners and you run the situation then they're at your mercy of whatever type of work you bring them and you can always replace them they're uh, dispensable all right so what I'm going to show you is a little bit of a comparison. So you can do these little cheap fiber gigs if you want, or you can be a part of huge projects. Let me show you this. All right. So this is a drop service and partner right here. This is us right here. Fly high private jet charter. We have partnered with a local jet carrier there and a six hour flight is minimum around $48,000. It depends on the size of the jet that the person is going to be booking through. But that's that's around like a mid-sized jet, all right? $48,000. And we get a huge percentage of that. All right, so, and that was just one way when I said that. So technically, one trip can be like $10,000 for you. One trip. 10,000 bucks. And all a person has to do is call in something that they were already going to do and book the flight through you, okay? If you set up this drop service and partnership, okay? So you own the brand, you own everything. The private jet company will be doing a fulfillment. This is why I tell you guys to get in the Godfather of drop service. And if you're not in there, I don't know what's going on with you, man. I don't know what YouTube video can be as entertaining as you making 10,000 bucks off of one flight. But anyway, let's move on. All right, so we're gonna go over here to this one. This is another partner right here that we just started working with. We partnered with him and we ranked this listing right here. And now look at this. This is home builders. This is people building homes from the ground up, scratch. 
All right, some of them million dollar projects and you get a percentage off of that. So not only do we get a percentage off of that, we get, we turn this into a hybrid deal. So whenever someone calls through our assets, we get called for that call or that lead. Uh, we get paid for that call or that lead. And we also get paid a percentage when the deal closes. That is true drop servicing. That is the power of drop servicing when you don't have any income cap, okay? now. What do I mean by any income cap? Is ways that you can uh, set up the pricing that you can't do on these gig sites and everything. Like I said, for instance, the hybrid model, you can't create the hybrid model where you get paid both on the call or the lead plus a percentage of the deals that close. We do this with realtors as well. Okay, so let's say it's a realtor. A realtor wants uh, buyers. Okay, so a buyer calls or a seller calls. They call through our property. We're ranking our buyer seller properties on Google or something, okay? So when they call through and they say, yes, I want to sell my house, okay? So we're going to pair them up with the realtor, okay? So it's just like that. It's like a staffing agency, okay? So that realtor pays us for that pairing. And then we also have the realtor sign something that when the deal closes, when they actually sell the house, we get a percentage of it. So you get paid twice off, okay? And another thing with drop servicing, say for instance, this one right here, let's move over here. This is another one of our partnerships right here. We are number one in Albany, Georgia, okay? So this is internet cable. All right, internet and cable service provider, blah, blah, blah. We paired with a local internet service provider or contractors or whatever. All right, so what happens is the people will pay through our system. They'll pay us, whether it's 300, 400 down or whatever, credit check, blah, 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 whatever it is. And we give a percentage to the contractor and it's split monthly, okay? So this is recurring. You can't do this on Fiverr. You can't do this. So when a person signs up for internet, everything runs off the internet. So chances are that's going to be a lifetime cut and is, they're never going to have to cancel unless somebody come through in the city with a better deal than yours, which rarely happens if you create the irresistible offer. So this is what you can do with high ticket and local drop service and that you can't do with Fiverr and Upwork gig sites. This is private jets, man. This is the yacht run we was talking about. This is creating your own internet cable platforms and everything doing that. That's drop service and that's real. That's how you do it. You don't get clients, you get drop service and partners. And this is the type of unmatchable things that stands out about the Godfather of drop service and course. If you haven't been inside the school, if you're not inside the school, I strongly suggest you get in there. This is not me begging you. This is me a recommendation, a strong recommendation um, letting you know that this could be the end. You don't have to look at any more YouTube videos. You don't have to look in the related section, go over to Gary V and talk about hustling, go over to anybody else and just talk about some theory of BS or Tony Robbins and get hype or whatever. This could be it. You can get inside the Godfather of drop service and this could be the last thing that you ever have to purchase and actually put time and effort into and build something out massively, such as the things that I've shown you today. All right. I've shown proof time after time, shown my campaigns, I've shown my money, shown all of that when I really didn't have to. So you guys go ahead and get inside the Godfather of drop service. And this is a real business. This is what works. Okay. And this is, this is how you do it, man. All right. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Share this with anybody that wants a real business. That's not a procrastinator. That's an investor that's trying to go hard this year. All right. Love you guys. See you in the next one, Lars.